In this video, I'm going to install an EVGA power link with my Radeon RX 6800 graphics card. Currently, there are two cables, one from each mini 6-pin connector on the back plane of the Mac to an 8-pin connector on the card. Since each of these connectors are 8-pin, the card is free to pull up to 150 watts from each. The mini six pin connectors on the back plane are rated for 75 watts uh, each. That's according to Martin Lowe, who said an Apple technician told him that. I haven't been able to find that number published anywhere, but it makes sense because the, the PCIe standard for a six pin connection is 75 watts. And these connectors that I'm pulling out here are good for um, 150 watts each. And if we draw 150 watts, or really more than 120 from the mini six pins, the system SMC will shut down the computer. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and take the card out here and install an EVGA power link. And by the way, this, this thing only costs $388 on Amazon, uh, which is, is crazy cheap, um, obviously within my budget. comes with a nice little set of instructions. So these are the two 8-pin connectors, and it just happens to be that's, that's what my card needs. So those are good, and here on the edge here are the two 8-pin connectors that uh, will be fed from the, um, the back, back plane. Also included in the package is a little Allen wrench. I'm sorry, this is the little 6-pin co uh, connector. So if you need an 8-pin and a 6-pin for your card, you can take that 6-pin connector and, and put it on there. And here's the Allen wrench. So we'll use that here in a minute. There's also a little package in here with a couple of these set screws. Uh, there are already set screws on the connectors that are on there, but I guess these are uh, extras in case you lose them. They would be very hard to find if you, if you dropped one. Uh, but since since it has two 8-pins already installed and that's what I need, I'm not going to need to uh, take the set screws completely out or anything. Just loosen them up a little bit so that the 8-pin uh, connectors will slide and fit on my card. So it looked like as it came, it might just snap right on there without even having to adjust, but no, it, it doesn't have the exact right spacing between the two of them. And uh, I don't have a lot of room in my Mac between the end of the card and the fan shroud, so I want to get the, the power link right against the end of the card. So I am going to go ahead and loosen these set screws and um, get the 8-pin uh, connectors lined right up with the connectors on the card. Now with the two connectors uh, snapped into the card, I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the set screws. And then, of course, on the other side, they need to be tightened on both sides. The 
and these little rubber covers go back in place over over top of the set screws. Kind of have to push it in there. When the card goes in the computer, the, the end of the card here is going to be really close to the fan shroud, so it's going to be very difficult to get the cables in after it's in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 8-pin side of the mini 6-pin to 8-pin cables in the EVGA power link before I put it in the PC, in the Mac, excuse me. Looking into the fan shroud, you see that the fan is back there a ways. It's a good inch before even the fan guard uh, between the edge of the, the, the little slot thing there and the, and the fan guard, and the fan's even further back from that. So there is a little bit of room for the cable to extend into the, into the plastic piece here off the end of the card, uh, only if the card is in the lowest slot. Uh, because that one's kind of double wide. If you moved it up to the next slot, I think it, it would be more problematic getting the cable in here. Uh, normal advice is always to put the six uh, mini six pin back plane connectors in before you put the card in the slot, because uh, especially with these long cards, it's uh, very difficult to reach back behind the card and, and get those connected. I, I thought when I was looking at this that I wanted short cables so that I didn't have extra cable clutter uh, and that look in there, but having these longer cables, and I'll, I'll link the um, where I bought these from in the description, but having these long cables actually made it a lot easier to put it in because, you know, I can connect both ends of, of the card, I'm sorry, both ends of the cables before I put the card in place, and so now I just have to mush the cables in here so that it goes inside that opening in the fan shroud, and then... Um, Get it lined up with the, the slot and drop it in. And there it is. So now with everything buttoned up, here's a picture of how it looks completed. And here it is on the end.